Hey, yo. We back up on this weekend train. Pardon the interruption. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider become part of the family. Click the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner, right here somewhere. But we're finally on In Your Eyes, which is the next song on the album. And it also happens to be the music video. And I saved watching the music video because I knew I was gonna do it in order. So here we are with the music video finally something we could actually look at on screen. But I've been super hyped about the album so far because it's exactly everything that I wanted and I know that the, the music videos are continuous and have one long story. So this is just the next chapter in the story. So let's just get on into it. Like I always say, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at The Third Earnest, just like the channel, links in the description below. And let's fucking get it. All right, so I'm expecting a gory ass music video. Last we left off, he was in the elevator with the with the couple, and then we heard them like going crazy as I was having a seizure from the fucking lights. But let's go. They didn't show that knife last time. That's for damn sure. Is this the song right here or is this like the intro to the song? But that was tight, that camera work right there. Started to turn, I forgot what it's called, but like when it gives you like an off angle. Again, feeling hectic, feeling confused, feeling like panic. And then here she comes into the frame panicking. Fire ass fucking shot right there. Just a fucking blank ass background, blank canvas. We have one window and boom, him in this window. It's a dope ass angle. This whole album just has an 80s sound all the way through and through. The direction of this vid, like this little shot right here, moving up on the on the keypad, that's fire. In the dark, I don't regret, cause my heart can take a loss. He said, I just pretend that I'm in the dark and my heart can't take a loss, so I don't regret anything. Because regret is is like giving in to the fact that you lost. My heart can't take a loss. I don't know if I can handle that. So I just pretend that everything's all right. I pretend like I'm in the dark. I'm oblivious to the whole shit. I wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then, you know? And then this shot right here where the smoke turns red, that's... Take a loss. When I look at you in your eyes, I see there's something burning inside you. When I look in your eyes, I see there's something burning inside. When it's said and when it's done, I don't ever want to know what you did because I can tell what you did because it's in your eyes. That's fucking tight. It goes all the way back to the knowing when he says, I know what you did. I know. So I'm going to let you taste her. I ain't washing my sins. That was a, f that line when I heard it for the first time, that's when I was like, okay, this motherfucker right here. Has nothing to do with this song, but he's talking about, I'm gonna let you taste her. He smashed some other chick and then now he's gonna let, she's gonna fucking give him head. I'm not washing my sins. Yo, that's yikes, you know? But that's similar to this, but this is more like, I don't even wanna know what you did to even get to that point. And the direction of the music video is tight. It starts out with like the panic and then we go and like rewind to see exactly how we got there. And I'm glad that Weekend's not actually singing because that would take away from the fact that it's all just one long story. If he was singing, that gives him more of a music video vibe. And this is more of like a cinematic short film type vibe. But the color choices and the color blocking are fucking tight for sure. With the red and the greens, like the way it's blocked off, kind of reminds me of the movie Drive with just like that dreamlike feel. Like look at this color blocking right here, the green light, and then it's on his red suit and it's black in the shadows. It's, it's tight. Right here. 
see it in your eyes and I know it hurts to smile but you try to yo this whole album is just like one long ass movie because he said that in one of the songs that I did at the beginning like in the in the first half of the album I think it was on scared to live when he said that he could tell that she's forcing the smile and he doesn't want her to be scared to live again because the love that they had was lost but she's smiling through the pain this video right here has like the pretty music video vibes it's the song pretty off of Kissland. It feels like it's the same vengeful concept, but this one is more straightforward. Like, we're seeing the fear, we're seeing the frightenedness in her eyes. Oh, it hurts to smile, but you try to. Oh, you try to. You always try to hide the pain. You always know just what to say. I always look the other way. I'm blind, I'm blind in your eyes. Yeah, this video is fucking shot amazingly. Like, look at this frame right here. It's just them two. Like, it makes you feel like they're all alone in the entire world because it's a wide shot and he's in the shadow, but she's in the light. Fuck, that's clean. And then the shot right before that was her running, but it was all hectic because the camera was boun bouncing. So you feel like the hecticness within the video. And then this is like more calming, but it's still scary because it's only them two. Her and he, he's trying to fucking kill her. I look right here. I do. You always try to hide the pain. Like, you bouncing, always bouncing. Know what to say. Oh, that shot right there. The cinematography in this video is like perfect. Like this is what I mean by color blocking right here. Like look, you have all this green and then you have this one little piece of red. And then over here it happened again. Like we have all this red and then right here we have all this black, but then that one little frame of red, it's clean. And then this shot where these leading lines lead you right into the weekend. And again, we have the green with the red, it's fucking tight. And then his eyes shine and so does the knife. <sighs> tight. The director of photography, whoever directed photography on this video, Amazing. I tried to find love. There's that fucking parallax effect that I would talk that I was talking to y'all about in one of the other videos. They're pushing in, but they're zooming out at the same time. So it gives you like this, like the background's coming closer to you, but you're not actually, you're not moving toward the frame, it looks like. It just gives you that weird feeling. Jaws is definitely the most famous use of it, but like it looks like the background is getting bigger, but the doorway is staying the same size. I tried to find love in someone else too many times but I hope you know I mean it when I tell you you're the one that was on my mind oh man just everything about this video it's fucking fire I'm feeling the green, red, and black fucking look of it. And everything is green, red, and black. Like even the lasers in this shot right here are green, red, and black. And then we come through and then we see after hours in the background and yellow and gold. This whole video is fucking fire. There's like no doubt about it. And again, the sentiment is just staying the same. Like in your eyes, you're telling me the truth, even though you try to lie. And I'm not letting you, I'm not letting that lie define you because I know deep down that you're telling me the truth in your eyes. You try to hide the pain externally with your like body mannerisms and also with what you're telling me. You always have the perfect things to say, but I can tell that you're lying, but I won't let it define you. Look, it's a fire ass song. This is probably one of the more 80s sounding songs, especially after Blinding Lights. And I know that the last three or four songs go in order. Heartless goes into Faith and then Faith transitions right into Blinding Lights on the album. And then Blinding Lights, which is probably the most 80s song on the album, transitions right into this one. It's fire. Hope you know I mean it. Hey, look at that. When I look at you in your eyes, I see there's something burning inside you, oh inside you, in your eyes. I know it hurts to smile, but you try to, oh you try to, you always try to hide the pain, you always know. 
Yo, the weekend is just like fucking just staring her down. And then I saw that we were about to transition away from the red and the green, which I'm sure has some type of intent behind it, especially considering it happens on the bridge. But just by watching the video, you can sense and feel her panic, even with no dialogue. And even though the room is crowded, it feels like it's only them two there because you feel the panic that she has from him and no one else even knows what the fuck's going on because everybody else is in their own little world. That scene gave me fucking claustrophobia, especially knowing that she's panicking because he's there trying to kill her. Or I don't know if he's trying to kill her just yet. He might just be trying to put the fear in her eyes. But just feeling like if that was me, I have that rowdy claustrophobia right there. And I don't, I'm not even one that's claustrophobic. But then look, we went from the yellow and now she's looking at the fucking axe and the axe is red along with the box. The color is purposeful every single frame. Nothing is left to just like, oh, it just happened to be like that. Everything is purposely done, and I like that shit. That means that there's a strong ass concept. That better be fucking Kenny G on that saxophone, just going ham like that. See what I'm talking about? That haunting voice that is just fucking signature weekend. You're, oh, and then it like dips down in the fucking with the pitch. I love that shit. We still have two minutes left. That means there's definitely a transition in the song. There's definitely a transition in the music video. It's fucking tight. I was not expecting her to fucking win the battle. That wasn't that gory. I mean, I get the I get the warning at the very beginning, but it wasn't that crazy. It wasn't Django Unchained or some shit. Inside you. It's almost like, I don't know if this is symbolism here though. She's killing him, but she's the one afraid of him. But really, he just let her kill him because that's, what's the, that's what the song's about. Like I try to ignore the signs of you wanting to leave or I try to ignore the signs of cheating or whatever, but I see it in your eyes. But even if I see it in your eyes, I'm not letting it define you because I love you. So she is figuratively killing him in the song, like killing his emotions and killing his soul. But right here, she's literally killing him and he didn't even put up a fight. But this video and this song go perfectly together. And perfectly together, I mean like they don't match whatsoever. And because of that, they do match perfectly. You always know just what to say. I always look the other way. I'm blind, I'm blind in your eyes. You lie, but I don't let it define you. Or define you. That sax is fucking fire. Like it just sets the whole track up to the next level. Saxophone is just always a vibe and she's just like feeling it.
This shit is fucking weird. Yeah. Shit is weird as shit, son. But again, it could not even, that she could not even be a person. She could be symbolic of like LA taking his life or like she could be symbolic of like Las Vegas and he gives in no, even no matter how hard he tries. It just depends on the way you look at it. And it depends on what you're feeling, especially with something so cryptic as this at the very end where she's dancing with his head. Like that could literally mean anything to anyone. If that's the end of this like saga, that's that's definitely one way to end it. Cause that I didn't, I didn't see that turn happening whatsoever. But yo, the song is a vibe but overall the music video in combination with the song psh, everything about this album is just like exactly exactly what i wanted it to be and then we have this long ass short form movie throughout four different videos on top of that that's just icing on the cake fam but yo that's it for this video if you like what you see please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below helps the algorithm algo boost here for the algorithm all of that stuff do that it helps me it helps the channel and the fam grows. If you like what you saw enough and you like the analytical feedback and breakdown of the music video and the song and all of that, consider subscribing because that's how we do it around here. We break shit down in depth. You get a look into my mind about what I'm what I'm looking at and what I'm feeling because of what I'm looking at. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. Follow the Discord, hop in the Discord. I'm always in the Discord. So if you wanna chat it up with me, that's the best place to do it. And that brings today's video to a close. I appreciate your time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. I'll catch everybody on the next video, which is save your tears. Peace.